Part C. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear several talks and answer questions about them. While you listen, you will see the answer choices for the questions that follow. After you hear each talk, you will hear the questions one at a time, and you will see the answer choices on the screen. After you hear a question, read the answer choices and click on the best answer to the question. Answer the questions on the basis of what is stated or implied by the speakers in the talks. You will hear the talks and the questions about them only one time. Now we will begin Part C with the first talk. For over a century, archaeologists have been excavating a site at an ancient liver port in Italy called Portus. Portus was a major port for the capital well, and ships unloaded a wide range of goods there food, building materials, luxury items. Excavations have revealed a lavish ancient palace complex at Portus, which was probably used by a high status official like the port administrator. In the 19th century, a detailed map of the Portus Palace complex was created by Rodolfo Lanciani, who excavated many of the ruins from ancient Rome. On his map, Lanciani marked the remains of a particular structure in the complex, but Lanciani found only half of the structure, and his interpretation of its original shape and function turned out to be wrong. This structure has been rediscovered by archaeologists, who have determined that it was an amphitheater, a half-circle of seats overlooking the stage. Now ancient Roman amphitheaters were usually large enough to accommodate tens of thousands of spectators. But the size and location of Portus's amphitheater suggests it was used for smaller private gatherings, not open to the general public. The amphitheater has raised a lot of questions. Any amphitheater in a location like this is pretty unusual. What was it used for? Port business? Maybe the port administrator used it to address workers, or perhaps the emperor visited the Portus Palace complex and military games and mock battles were staged there. Number 42. What does the professor mainly discuss? Number 43. What was discovered at Portus? Number 44. What contribution by Rodolfo Lanziani does the professor mention? Number 45. How does the Portus Amphitheater differ from other ancient Roman amphitheaters? Number 46. What does the professor say about the use of the Portus Amphitheater? Number 47. 